Chapter 15 of um, A Living Man Declared Dead and Other Chapters is about um, Taron Simon trying to make it work in China. Now, Taron tried to make several projects um, in China and always came up against problems with the um, what's called the, um, the State Council Information Office, which is like the publicity um, organisation um, that kind of control access to um, kind of cultural affairs in China. Um, because she, well, whichever project Taron started trying to make, she came up against this organisation. She decided in the end to kind of give in to this kind of overwhelming um, attempt to control by the Chinese um, authorities and allow them to select the family that she made the bloodline of. And I really like this work because instead of trying to circumvent um, the idea of propaganda or trying to um, do something which is essentially um, subversive or uh, in, in reaction to what the Chinese state is trying to do, Taran sort of allows them to control the work and actually produce and sort of in a way kind of collaborate in making the work. So the bloodline that selected in China is, is obviously, as you can see, it's kind of perfect. It's like a kind of ideal family. With, um, uh, you can see the whole family, there's no missing gaps, nobody was allowed not to turn up. In some of the bloodlines there are missing people who were, weren't able to be there or for one reason or another. In this case, everyone's present. And you can also trace in this family the, the effects of the, um, the one-child policy in the, in the Chinese state, which is something that you can see visually because of the way the bloodline works. The other thing that I really like about this is the, the landscape images, so the, the, foot, the, the footnote panel that, um, that sort of supports the story. These are things that the, um, the uh, State Council Information Office selected for Taryn to take. So she said, OK, which is the picture you want to take? They told her to take a picture of the radio tower, um, exactly like this, and she produced the best picture um, that she could. And then she photographed also the State Council Information Office kind of goodie bag that they gave her. So she sort of allowed the, the idea of state control and its relationship to the bloodline to, uh, to, to, be part, to become part of the work, which I think is really clever. And it's one of, one of, my, one of the, the pieces in the, the show that I think is most interesting and really um, helps explain what this relationship is also between the idea of the family and the bloodline and state or external factors.